Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. Today I'm going to make a video about shorts. I recently bought an iPhone 12 Pro Max and this has affected my short wearing strategy. So I'm going to review a variety of them and finally I'm going to see which ones I can recommend. I obsess about shorts way more than socks or t-shirts or caps or whatever. Shorts, uh, there's so many different things. Manufacturers are very poor in my experience explaining what their shorts do, what they can carry, what they don't carry, etc, etc, etc. And so I'm making a video to try and get through some of those things. Uh, typically I want to carry a phone, in this case uh, a rather large iPhone. I want to carry some keys uh, and I want to carry, well there's a pandemic on, tissue paper. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to try and go through some of the shorts and see how I go about doing that. I always run with a phone. Uh, in Ireland, I can't get a cellular connection on the watch. Um, and I believe from a safety point of view, uh, or even just convenience, I tripped over, hurt my leg, I'll be home a bit late, uh, that kind of thing. Um, but particularly for an emergency, I, I, I most of the time I'm running with a friend, sometimes I'm on my own, sometimes it's dark and I'm on my own. Uh, I think it's a good idea to carry the phone. So um, the best place for me to carry the phone is in the shorts. It's where I feel most comfortable with. I don't like these arm straps. I don't particularly like the added belt straps. Uh, so I tend to do that. And recently I bought this uh, humongous thing, uh, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And, and I went with the large phone um, because often when I'm out running, I, I, if you've watched this channel, I run with a GoPro and, and film with the GoPro. Um, but it would be, I thought that the camera on the iPhone might be good for certain things. Uh, I bought the phone. I regretted buying the phone because it's huge, has had a big impact on the short stuff. Uh, and then I started to take some panoramas with them. If you watched last week's video of the Nike Alpha Fly, you'll see a panorama on a bridge. I took that straight out of the iPhone 12. No, uh, no editing, no filtering, no nothing. That's straight out of the camera. Um, and it's fantastic for that. So, so yeah, it was worth buying the bigger phone, but I now have to adjust some of the shorts to suit. You can see plenty of videos of me running around in shorts on this channel. Most of them, I'm in the same uh, unsanctioned uh, half tights with, with some uh, Under Armour liners and Under Armour heat. And the reason I do that is that those shorts are great for carrying GoPro and filming equipment on the phone and all these bits and pieces that I need when I'm out doing that. Um, so you don't see the full range of shorts that I actually run in day to day. Um, you'll see a couple of them here and there, but, but largely most of them go unseen. Um, and in the last video, I, I filmed them all, I link it at the end, uh, I filmed them all outside and, uh, and I hung them up and I got the old uh, wind making machine, otherwise known as a hairdryer, and uh, made them move around and had some lights and all that sort of stuff. But there's nothing to uh, beat seeing them on a, uh, a human. So uh, today I'm going to introduce my friend Quinn, who's going to help rather than me trying to film myself wearing a pair of shorts, which, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I've got Quinn. So uh, Quinn, come on over and let me introduce you. So this is Quinn uh, and he's impossibly tall. And uh, he's also, well, he's not impossibly tall, he's just a regular size. It's me that's uh, short. Uh, so, and he's also the silent type. So hopefully uh, we'll, uh, we'll do this together, see how it works out. We'll be focusing in on Quinn wearing the shorts and who knows, Ah, it'll be mighty. So Quinn's gonna model all these and rather than try and remember every detail and every specification, it'll all be linked down below uh, in the description. And also you can click on the previous video where you'll see more details of the, the shorts that I previously run in. But just a brief overview, uh, in two-in-one shorts where these have an inbuilt liner, I, I really liked the Satisfy uh, running uh, Justice cargo shorts. They're incredibly expensive. They're 200 euro or 203 dollars. Uh, uh, but they're hyper lightweight, they're super comfortable. They have four pockets, uh, two down each side um, at the front. The only difficulty is although the iPhone 12 Pro Max fits, it bounces a little. So I can't really run in these in, 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 uh, with, with the phone. Uh, these have a great little clip um, on one of these sides. There's a carboner, yeah, to clip the, the, the phone in or the keys in. So the keys are held securely and they'll hold gels and all sorts of stuff. Beautifully made, super comfortable. Uh, if you don't really need to run with a phone uh, and you like these kinds of things, they're, they're, you know, they're massively expensive, but uh, they didn't disappoint. Uh, one of my favorite uh, shorts of all time, these are uh, Janji shorts um, and they're uh, Traverse 2-in-1s. They, they, they come in variety of colors. I have Stingray and Eagle Ray. I don't know which one is which, to be honest. Uh, super comfortable, ran uh, a couple of marathons in them. Uh, and again, details in the previous video. They, they have pockets down either side lined along the leg. 
and uh, the phone easily slips into them and uh, doesn't slip out. Fantastic. I went running in them last night just to, just to treble check, but I, I run in these shorts a lot. Um, typically, uh, they're, they're, the, the phone down the side leg is how I really like them. Uh, and then what happens is, so they're two and one, so the liners in, in, is, is built in. In the ones, in the liners themselves, the ones I really like, uh, you'll have seen in the previous video, Run to Wear makes some great liners, very comfortable. Um, uh, Under Armour, same, I've got lots of these uh, lying around. Uh, they're all gonna get downstream because of a particular reason. Uh, and the uh, oh, Under Armour Rush heat gear kind of ones, again, you, th these ones I use all the time. I mean, this is the pair that I run when I'm wearing them with the unsanctioned half tights. They've got great slots uh, here and here for the phone. They've also got a zip in the back for keys. Um, I, I'm, I'm wearing these in nearly every running video um, because I can secure the keys, I can secure the phone, I can stick a GoPro. And there's this funny little loop, which is really for a towel, but is really good for holding a GoPro handle. Uh, so it, quite a very nicely cut pair of shorts. Um, and they feel and, and I think they look fantastic on. So these will be, uh, gr I, I absolutely love those shorts. These are another pair of shorts that I love, the, uh, the uh, Graves by, by Path Projects. Um, they've got lots of pockets. Um, they're great for if you're sort of going running in the evening, but you want to go out in the morning and maybe go and buy stuff in the store and, the, the, and et cetera. The, the two pockets are really fantastic. You keep a wallet or whatever else you want. A lot of storage in them. They're very comfortable and, uh, and I, like, I like to look at them. So these will be uh, some of my favorite existing shorts. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the newer shorts or shorts that I didn't make in the last video. Uh, one of my favorite are these, and again, you'll see, I'll close up on Quinn in the garden, um, modeling the wonderful shorts. Um, but these are the Under Armour Speed Pockets. And, and what they have is they've got this, uh, and they've got a pocket at the front, right in, at, the, at, the, at the waist. There's a kind of pocket that you slot the phone into. Um, and they will fit an iPhone 12 Pro Max because I have run in these many times. They're a bit fiddly to get on, but I mean, uh, it's not that fiddly, but I mean, it'll take you a couple of seconds. Uh, but I'll flick that in there now. So you can see the phone is sort of, it, it sits in the waistband. It, it looks a lot better when it's on. It doesn't, doesn't appear as, as ungainly as this. I'm making a pig's ear of it, but that's it with the largest phone. It's incredibly secure. And these also come in tight, so I've got both. Um, Really like them. They're again just like the uh, the Graves. They're quite stylish sort of a pair. They've got um, uh, two long pockets and again a zipped pocket at the back. But they have an integral liner with a bit of compression. I'm going to turn on the light. Uh, here we go. So you'll see. Uh, somebody was asking about see-through shorts. So you'll see down the side. You can see the light going through them. There's a sort of um, vented piece. A lot of shorts actually have vented slots in them, uh, and they also have some reflective pieces there. Uh, nice, a really nice pair of shorts. Not the lightest shorts I have, um, but again, just like the um, the Graves, great sort of pair of shorts if you want to do something in the morning. Uh, I'm going to go vaccinated in a while. I could wear these and uh, bring my passport, bring everything else, and then uh, go for a run later on. The phone will be secure, the keys will be secure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I love these shorts. Yeah, really, really, really like these shorts. Uh, always get a joy out of running in them. Uh, these are some Roque shorts that I bought recently. I liked the color. It was, the, I think it was defined as, it was a dolphin uh, and it was blue and orange and now it's called dolphin. Um, but I liked the color of these shorts. I was really excited. I love Roque's um, socks. Um, these shorts were something of a disappointment. Uh, you, the drawstring, I mean, really guys, how are you supposed to tie this? I mean, you, you can only pull it and then you, you, can't, you can't tie it. Um, I found that more than annoying. And again, manufacturers, Rocky and everyone else, don't explain half this stuff on their website. I suppose that's why people like me make videos. Um, there are no rear pockets. Uh, there are side pockets. And there is a side pocket in the orange. I love this orange bit, but there's a side pocket in here to slot the phone in. Um, but I went out running in these, the phone bounced straight out. And when you've just bought an iPhone 12 Pro Max and it's day two and it bounces out on the concrete pavement, uh, you're not going to run these again. Well, not with the phone. Uh, they're very breathable and they're very light. So again, I'll stick on the light. Um, very breathable material. Uh, not so easy to to show, and so on, but you can see see it there. Um, but what happened was um, these are okay shorts. That's about the best I could say of them. If you're at the beach and someone else is at the house and you don't need the key and you don't need the phone, 
they're probably okay. They're very lightweight, they're not uncomfortable, but lacking somewhere, I don't think they're particularly well made, but um, lacking somewhere to securely hold a key, I think is, uh, makes them practically unusable, a total waste for me, it's a total waste of my money for me. Um, so let's have a look at what has been the single best thing that has happened for me in shorts and ages, and it is, under Armour have brought out these heat gear armor compression shorts. They call them shorts, I would call them underwear, but anyway. Uh, but they have a slot down the side to take my iPhone. Yay! Uh, fantastic. I bought four or five pairs of these, I think. Um, they're available in a couple of different colors. These were 30 euro, probably 30 bucks. Uh, under Armour and Runderwear sales all the time. Don't pay, pay full retail for Under Armour or Runderwear uh, because they, they literally have sales all the time. Um, they make great stuff, but these pockets mean that I've always got somewhere secure to carry my phone. So although I like a lot of two-in-one shorts, in reality, uh, I'm going away from it because this is so good. This is such a good, it's totally secure. Uh, I like the, the, the disadvantage of the, the speed pocket is the phone is right at the front. And if you, uh, in the middle of your run, want to take a comfort break, or etc. It, 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 it's doable, uh, but it's slightly awkward. Uh, I like it down the side. Lots of uh, shorts have pockets at the back, but it bounces up and down, and hits my back, keeps going bum, 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 bum. And <clears throat> assuming that I'm running at a reasonable pace, uh, don't like it. So then what happened was because of that, because of the fact that I've got these um, uh, liners, I, I, I can buy various different types of, of over shorts, if you could call them that, that I didn't have before. So I bought these, uh, these are super light and uh, these are sore running elites um, 3.0. I think they have a tiny pocket at the back or keys or whatever. They're, they're feather light. Um, in the shots with Quinn, I didn't stick anything on underneath because anything underneath makes a ripple. You'll see a couple of bits and pieces. Uh, supremely comfortable. Looking forward to going for lots of runs in these very, very uh, lightweight shorts. Um, I also have an entire on running system of shorts and um, I, I, I use those, I, you've seen them, some of them in the last video, but since the last video, I, I got a waterproof pair, so these are, these are those. Um, they have a, a zip pocket that will take an iPhone, I wouldn't stick it in there. Um, it has a little ventilated piece, again, I'll get the light on, you'll see, there's a ventilated mesh piece at the back. Uh, they are, uh, they're, they're, they're kind of, on make a very odd system, they've got these little and they're very finicky this this these little loop things um there's buttons on the side of the shorts and then these it's so the inner liner shorts and then these hook onto those but effectively you put anything heavy and they drag the two down because there's no effective way of, of tying them together if anybody's interested i'll make a video of the whole on system um uh, there's a i have uh, the inner liner and then i've got these so i've got the liner which again i've got quinn to where you'll see when I, I pulled down after I watered the, the trousers, I pulled them down so you can see these are dry. These are the little button things. Um, and these have two uh, slots. One, one will hold an iPhone 12, one will hold something smaller. They're different sizes on each side. They then have another piece that can, um, with a funny drawstring thing at the front. And again, these all appear in the last video. Um, but the drawstring only pulls the front bit of this together. The, the net result is, is that if you put anything heavy in them, I have the tights, the tights are supremely comfortable. I mean, they are just beyond, I wear them all the time, but I don't go running in them um, because uh, they barely secure to the inner liner. Um, there's no secure thing for phone. If you put the phone in, it drags the thing down and you find you're in the long pulling up your trousers all the time. Uh, not, a, not, a, not a good look or, or a good experience. I remember vividly at uh, the time I, 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 I ran 12K out and all I spent was pulling them up. Supremely comfortable, uh, but round the house. Shorts aren't cheap. Well, good. I can't find great shorts at, 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 at cheap prices. Um, the these ones I mentioned are two hundred and three dollars, two hundred bucks. They're they're expensive. Likewise, uh, the sore running is they, they they make beautiful products. They're all really expensive. You can buy them in in uh, triple sets, and then you get a discount. You can become a member of the Milers Club. No matter what way you cut it up, they're expensive. But I, I think uh, sore stuff is it's 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 worth it. Uh, I mean, it is. It's I still laugh every time I call it sore. It's S O A R as in flying high. Um, but they're great. They're they're lovely shorts uh, uh, to run in. 
I mentioned the Runderwear and the Under Armour. They have sales all the time. Runderwear have just brought out a pair of shorts that are that go over the 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 the, uh, the liners. Um, and I was interested in those too late for this video, but they look really good. Um, and they just came on uh, immediately on, and it was already ten percent off. So you know they have they have sales all all the time. Um, so uh, with the Path projects and the Janji shorts, uh, both of which I really, really like and like to buy more of, but um, they mainly sell direct in the USA. And by the time you get them here, there's shipping, there's VAT, there's all sorts of things. And um, so I tend to get them in to try them. But uh, if I was in the States, I certainly pick up a couple of pairs because um, they really are, they, they really do make great shorts. So to recommend the shorts, well, for, for running with an iPhone 12 Pro Max, uh, or indeed anything really, I, I, I really love these Janji shorts, the Traverse two in ones. Uh, they're superb shorts. As I said, I ran a couple of marathons in them. They have lots of storage. They have storage pockets at the back. They have uh, storage pockets at the side. There's a little uh, clip that you can uh, clip your, your keys into. Uh, they're, they're short. I'm particularly uh, fond of and, and run in a lot. Um, so is that, certainly that would be uh, for a lined uh, two in one short, that would be my favorite. Other than that, it is this. It, this has been the joy of my life. These uh, compress. I like compression shorts, but the fact that you can stick the phone down the side is a real bonus in these Under Armors, and that has meant that I've been able to ch pick any liner to go on top. Um, and so at the moment, uh, I'm going to pick the. Well, I love the the greys, but obviously I love the sore ring. But effectively. Um, one of the things that the manufacturers do really badly is telling you all this stuff. They, I wish they were better at it. They, you'd think they'd give a dimension of each of the pockets. Um, on running, I was looking this morning just before finally making the video, and uh, I was trying to look and see did it how they describe their their system. And they have a, they have a great way of describing their shorts. They're just called waterproof shorts. There's no sort of fancy palaver to waterproof shorts. But it doesn't tell you anywhere that it's part of the system that clips in and all of this sort of stuff that I would find useful. It tells you all sorts of fascinating stuff about the fact that they're made in Shanghai by some company which is Austrian and they're, you know. And actually, I, I think all that information is really, really good and, and on do it really well. I just think if they're trying to sell you the shorts, tell us a bit more about the shorts, lads, and then tell us all about the stuff um, that's you know not as important to most people but not knowing what size phone etc that you can fit in or that you clips into this other system is uh, you know it's a bit of a drawback so should you buy these shorts well most of these shorts are pretty good and um, the rock a shorts I think they're disappointing but if you don't need to run with a phone and you don't need to run with a key or any belongings and and you're you're just want to run along a beach or something and you're nearby and there's somebody else's the house they're they're fine um, all the other shorts are really good. I do wish manufacturers would explain things a bit better so that, okay, if they explained them really well, people like me wouldn't wouldn't be making these videos. Um, but also I wouldn't have bought about 20 pairs of shorts to find out which ones work and which ones don't. Um, what I will say is the single best thing that's come along in shorts in years for me are these, because these Under Armour compression shorts have a place to put the phone and that has opened up a world of flexibility for shorts nerds like me. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you hit the like button. There's lots of stuff in the descriptions below because there's a lot of shorts to describe. And I'll happily answer any questions that you pop in the comments section. Or if you want to say what your favorite shorts are, that'd be great. There'll be a blue subscribe button popping up there and some related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along. Go Quinn, go. <laughs>